Hey, what's going on guys? Um, so I want to just make this video really fast. I'm discussing pre and post workout nutrition specifically, and it just how you should distribute your meals and your macronutrients throughout your day, like the most optimal results. So I'm going to first talk about pre and post workout nutrition. So pre workout, we want to focus on having mainly carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are going to be the main fuel source, the substrate used in anaerobic respiration um, through glycolysis. Um, glycogen is the, is a, you know, a polymer carbon carbohydrate that's stored in our muscles. We use it as energy when we are lifting weights. So we want to have as many carbohydrates, you know, not as many, a decent amount of carbohydrates before our workouts to fuel that energy um, substrate that is primarily being used. Um, and then in terms of other macronutrients, keep protein moderate, you know, 20 to 40 grams within that range. And with fats, keep that as low as possible, you know, the closer to zero, the better. Um, I always try to be 10 grams or less. Um, the reason why I want to keep fats low is because that's going to slow down digestion and, um, you know, that carbohydrate actually getting to the muscles and being able to actually be used for the activity, which is the whole reason why we are eating pre-workout. You know, we, we want our pre-workout workout meal to fuel our training for performance so we can make those PRs so that we can maintain our strength, you know, whatever. Um, in terms of intro workout nutrition, so like eating in your workouts, um, the only times I recommend that is if you are doing a very, very long training session. Um, that's generally going to be longer than two hours. I think there will be, like there is some marginal benefit to like having a carbohydrate source like an hour into training. But like I found for most people, like it's not really needed and it kind of slows them down. And like generally it's only really going to be needed for like two plus hours. Like personally, I don't have a, you know, any sort of intro workout carbohydrate um, unless it's like a really, really long training session. Like it's in my overreaching week. I don't really have any things. I just, just don't need it. It's my my pre-workout meal has fueled me enough um, by following those principles I outlined earlier that I can train hard for a while. Um, so I would just sit to say, play it by ear. If you're training less than an hour, you don't need anything. You absolutely do not need anything. Um, if you are intermittent fasting, if you are, or if you are training fasted, I would recommend at least having a protein feeding one hour into training. Um, just because you're going to be in a catabolic state um, and helping get that pr first protein feeding in, it's going to help regulate anabolism and up -reg regulate it so you can make more gains and recover a little bit better. Um, so that, that's what I would say for, for an intro workout. Post workout, more or less the same thing with um, pre workout nutrition. We want to keep carbs high, fats low. Um, and protein should for protein feeding post workout is what mainly changes. You should have the, it, ideally the biggest protein feeding of your day post workout. Um, it's just because you have just you know weight training in itself is a catabolic activity. Catabolic basically means it, it's a breakdown of tissue. Um, so you're breaking down the muscle, like you're causing those micro tears in order for your body to compensate and create that response to actually get bigger and stronger right which is the, which is the, you know that, that's the goal of weight training um so have that having a bigger feeding of protein is going to make most sense post workout because you're going to be able to most effectively use that protein um and then in terms of how we should spread out macronutrients i'm going to preface this by saying it doesn't really matter a ton um what you mainly want to focus on is protein feedings um I would not recommend intermittent fasting if you're trying to do things optimally um, and get the most gains that you possibly can. Intermittent fasting is a great tool. I don't have anything against it per, per se, especially if it helps your adherence um, and if you enjoy it. But if you're trying to optimize things, which this video is about, eat within an hour after, after waking, have a protein feeding, um, and spread your protein You know, with, I would recommend four to six meals um, per day, um, more or less evenly spaced with a slight spike, um, with a slight spike, um, Post workout and like a little bit less pre, just because again we want to have a carbohydrate again for all those reasons I've, I've outlined earlier. For 
and then like have carbohydrates around your activity that have a lot like a little bit of a bit of spike um and spread them out more or less evenly throughout the day um and then fats have them in your less active periods so like more of your fat should be biased around your periods of inactivity when you're not training you're not going to be going to be training or it's post training because in it's makes most sense because it's not going to interfere with the actual processes of training and making the most progress and fueling those workouts um and fat is used in aerobic, aerobic activity which is basically like sitting down it's main substrate being used when you're really not doing anything like when i'm feeling this video my body's mainly burning fat as that like substrate for like energy um i would also recommend keeping meal frequency between three to six meals per day find what works best for you i generally go more around four um, just because that's what I, I like best. Um, I spread my protein relatively evenly throughout the, the, those meals. Um, and then that's basically it. Like, it should fit your lifestyle, but, like, that's basically, like, meal timing in a nutshell. Um, about as simple as I can get. So I hope that this helps you guys. Um, if you have any questions, please just ask me uh, down in the comment section below. And uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. And I will be having a video on deloading up later this week. Uh, and we're doing like more vlog stuff. So be yeah, sure you're on the lookout for that and subscribe to my channel. So, anyways, see you guys. Thanks for watching.